It was another payday. I was tired of being a Mr. Goodbar. So when I saw Ms. Hershey standing behind the powerhouse on the corner of Clark and Fifth Avenue, I whipped out my whopper and whispered, Hey, sweetheart, how'd you like to crunch on my big hunk for a million dollar bar? She immediately went down on my Tootsie Roll, and you know, it was like pure almond joy. I couldn't help but grab her delicious mounds, because it was easy to see that this little Twix had the red hots. It was all I could do to hold back a snicker and a crackle as my butterfinger went up her tight little Kit Kat and she started to scream, Oh, Henry! Oh, Henry! Soon she was fondling my Peter Paul and Zagnuts, and I knew it wouldn't be long before I blew my milk duds clear to Mars and gave her a taste of the old Milky Way. She asked if I was into M&Ms. I said, Hey, chiclet, no kinky stuff. I said, look, you little Reese Peas, don't be a zero, be a lifesaver. Why don't you just take my whatchamacallit and slip it up your bit of honey? Ooh, what a piece of juicy fruit she was, too. She screamed, oh, Cracker Jack, you're better than the Three Musketeers, as I rammed my ding-dong up her rocky road and into her peanut butter cup. Well, I was giving it to her good and plenty when all of a sudden, my star burst. Yes, luck would have it. She started to grow a bit chunky and complained of a wriggly in her stomach. Sure enough, nine months later, 